Hi, I'm Rhonda, she's Angie, and we are Adventures in Nomadness. Want to know what our number one question is on YouTube about living in an RV? Well, it's what do two women do with all their clothes? Stay tuned and we'll share some of our organizational skills. <laughs> But seriously, our clothes really aren't falling out of the overheads like that. Most, not most of the time anyway. But hey, during a previous mod video, uh, we talked about changing the one area we did have for a wardrobe into a pantry. And we're living full time in this RV, so we had to have a place for food and this was it. So that led to a lot of people asking us, well, what do you do with your clothes? So follow me into the bedroom. It's a long walk. And our clothes solution was bags. That's it, that's the video. That's where our clothes are at. These are uh, 12 by 16 by eight inch clear plastic things, garment things from Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, I could fit about, I've got about 25 to 28 shirts in here. Blouses, short sleeve, long sleeve, you name it. They fit in here and I uh, actually you can pull that out pretty easily. It's pretty stacked right now, pretty full because I did laundry so all of our stuff is clean. I can just take the zippers and reach in there if I don't want to take the whole bag out. That's pretty handy. Uh, Rhonda and I also both have some overflow area, so things like the sweatshirt you always see me in, um, you know, stuff like when the weather changes on, you know, from cold to hot and stuff and you just want to throw in a sweatshirt, we just kind of keep some of that kind of stuff there. We are pretty organized, you really have to be in a small spot, space like this, so we kind of organize our clothes based on the frequency of, the, of use and the season. Right now it's somewhat being summer, uh, our temperatures where we've been at have been pretty rainy and kind of chilly, um, so we've kind of fluctuated between short sleeve, long sleeve, and throwing sweatshirts on top. So Ron and I agreed uh, in this space that we would allow ourselves two of those each. So we have one each of uh, tops and then one each of bottoms. So Ron has got all of her uh, pants in here and tops here. And then I have my bag of pants right there. That all works out pretty good. And then over here uh, is Rhonda's overflow. So we've got our purses there and then uh, her overflow of a couple sweatshirts and a vest and just some things you want to grab and then I'll throw my, sometimes I will throw my stuff up there too. And then a little bit of stuff will fall out if we are leaving too much stuff in there. Socks and underwear. Uh, for those things you want to pretty much change every day, you want those in accessible locations. So we keep enough in there for about a week. And if we don't get to laundry, we actually have more. So for jackets, we only keep one jacket each in here at any time, kind of the jacket we're using. It's been rainy, so we each have a rain jacket, but it's nice because we can hang these up outside too. We have some hooks. Um, I'll, we'll go outside and show those in a second. Uh, as far as the hooks, you can attach to the outside. And then we each have two hats each here that we can change out when we want to. So, and this gives us enough room with just two coats here. It does look a little bit bulky, but we can still open the door and go into the bathroom when we need to. So Angie mentioned that we organize and store our clothes based on season and frequency or accessibility needs. And what do we do with the stuff that we don't have stored above? Like things that we don't need right now, but we will when it gets cold. Well, our off-season stuff, we also keep in bags and we keep them under the bed. So they're a little bit harder to get to, but we can still get to them when we need to. And so we can just uh, basically rotate our warm clothes and our hot weather clothes when it does get cold. In addition, we have another bag that has additional socks, underwear, that kind of thing that we don't have in here. So we just keep enough in here for a, a week's worth of access. And if, it, if we run out, we just go restock from our backup supplies, so to speak. And that's about it. So believe it or not, this is the only additional clothes we have that isn't fit above beyond what Angie's gonna show you that we keep in our truck. 
And for a night out on the town, we've got our dress-up clothes. So I've got this leather jacket, woohoo! Some leather boots somewhere, and my nice Italian red leather purse. And where do you keep all that? Under the bed, in one of those plastic thingy mabob things. I even have my old army BDU top. It still fits. And of course, there's also football season, and we're both football fans, and so are the pups. So we couldn't get rid of the Seahawk paraphernalia, and so we keep a whole bag. Well, not a big bag, but a small bag of our Seahawk paraphernalia that comes out once every year for a short amount of time and then goes back under the bed. Time to put all this stuff away, and it really isn't that hard, even though we took all of our clothes out. Ta-da! Shoes! I think it's the bane of all RVers' existence. They can never figure out what to do with them. Well, honestly, we really haven't either. Down here, we've got a couple pairs each down here, plus we were wearing a pair, so nothing nothing fancy. These are definitely our kicking around shoes and a pair of our keen sandals. So when we come in and it's been dumping out rain, we leave our raincoats hanging at the door on these nice little hooks. Now there's all kinds of hooks to use. This type we got at Bed Bath & Beyond. It just screws on. You don't have to do anything except unscrew it and no mark. And to put it on you just righty tighty and you can put them up inside your your bathroom or outside to hang towels or coats. Um, one thing to make sure of if you're using them outside is put them on your drive away checklist because you don't want to leave them out here. That's one of the reasons we chose this particular one because we can see them. There's clear ones that pop on um, that are very similar that are also really handy so it's really up to you what kind but I will tell you that these are used a lot and we'll probably get more. Welcome to Towanda, our adventure rig and we have our overflow out here. You know, a lot of this stuff will actually fit in the RV underneath the bed, but this is all of our extra coats. So we've got heavy duty coats, winter coats. Uh, we even have some lightweight um, coats and stuff out here too. Um, our hiking boots are out here because we are big time hikers. So we like to grab those whenever we want to for out and about somewhere and they're stuck in the RV. You're like, oh, I can't go on this hike now because I left my boots back in the RV. So they're all here. We do have one suitcase for our travel. We have some larger backpacks that we normally use for travel. We have one small uh, carry-on suitcase and that's got some dress shoes in it and I think some travel clothes in there. And the one thing that we wanted to keep hanging up, it's the only thing, is a couple of dresses. We've got a wedding coming up in just over two weeks. So we wanted to keep our, our dresses in a spot that would hang up. <laughs> this is basically the only place we have to hang something like that up. A big question uh, some of you might have though is, hey, you know, you've got all these clothes that are stuffed in, you know, in these uh, plastic bins, and what about getting wrinkled? There are some great solutions for that. Uh, one of them is you can make your own wrinkle-free stuff. You can buy some downy spray stuff that I've used a couple of times, works pretty good. You can also make your own if you take, and I'll put the uh, ingredients in the description below, but you take two cups of warm water, one teaspoon of hair conditioner, and one tablespoon of white vinegar. Mix that up really good, put it in a spray bottle, one that's got the misting thing on it, and spray it on your clothes, and it'll just uh, relax all those wrinkles out. It's best if you leave your clothes down flat and just kind of, you know, smooth that out. So that's one way. Uh, they also make really small, like, steam irons. Um, it's not really an iron that you're pressing over, but it's like a steam thing. I've seen them at RV shows, and it's a massive amount of steam, and gets all the stuff out of your clothes, too. Um, or you could just be like us and not really care about wrinkles and look frumpled all the time. <laughs> Uh, you know, by uh, basically rolling up our clothes, it takes the wrinkles out, folding, up, uh, folding them up as soon as they come out of the dryer. We don't really have that many wrinkles in our clothes and buying stuff that's kind of wrinkle free too. So a couple good ways of staying wrinkle free. So these are all of our, our tips on RV. This is how we store all of our stuff in our RV. Uh, if you have any suggestions, we would love to hear them because this is not an exact science. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and that notification bell, and you'll know when our next video is coming out.
Are you wondering how we fit two women? I'll try it again. <laughs> two women. <laughs> Are you wondering okay, how two women do with all of their clothes? Well, it comes down to organization, and we've got some tips for you. Coming right up. Didn't fall out. <laughs> Gosh.